Hello! Can I outpro the pros with this controller? Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, today we have the world's fastest licensed Xbox controller. Well, at least that's what Victrix is stating. And once again, another product that I was introduced to via an article that came up on my Google feed. Darn you, Google. This, my friends, is the Victrix Gambit Dual Core Tournament Controller. You can pick this up on the good old interwebs for about a hundred bucks. This controller has the fastest thumbsticks, triggers, and buttons on Xbox. With the dual core technology, they dedicate one core to ultra fast input processing and the other to crystal clear audio. That means less latency and up to eight times faster input response than the competing controllers. Now, I'm no esports competitor, but any competitive edge that you can get is a benefit. Apparently, you can react faster with the patented five trigger stop positions that lets you set the travel distance mid-game to maximize your speed. Yeah, you see that logo at the front, the Dolby Atmos? Yeah, uh, with this purchase, you get a lifetime subscription. So uh, yeah, you get some perks for picking this up. You can transform your controller to fit the game you're playing and how you play it. 14 included swappable components, you can completely customize the Victrix Gambit Tournament Controller. Ugh. <laughs> Man, I'm getting excited here. Keep your new pride and joy protected and ready for travel with the included carrying case. Your Victrix Gambit Tournament Controller is set for whatever and whenever. So do you know what's coming up next? That's right, Handsome Nation. You know what time it is. Boxy, boxy time. Okay, so front of the box, we got the brandy, of course, the Victrix Gambit Dual Core Tournament Controller. Dolby Atmos, yes please. And uh, we got a breakdown of the controller right here. It is, uh, it's a little bit modular, so yeah, that's really cool. In the bottom left-hand corner, we got that Xbox seal of approval. On the left side of the box, we got that branding in that nice purple. On the right side of the box, it goes into more details as to what's inside the box. This is designed for your Xbox Series X, Series S, Xbox One, or Windows 10. And I'm assuming because Windows 11 just came out that it should work with that as well. My, my, my. You know, my colors are a blue and orange, but uh, I do like a good purple. So of course on the back, it goes into a lot more details about the controller and what it's capable of. But enough about the box, let's get inside. All right, so here's the case, and I know the controller's inside the case, but let's see what else you get in the box. All right, so we have our quick start guide, and then a little information as to how we can download their app. But here's, but here's their case. It looks nice. That black and purple, oh my goodness. It's just a nice touch, man. This is, this is nice. It's a hard shell case. Got a little carrying strap right there. All right, let's see it. Okay, so here's gonna be the white faceplate. Up top, we got our cable, nicely braided, USB-A to USB Type-C, yes please. And unfortunately, there's no way to detach the cable. I know sometimes when you're away from the TV, you're playing some games, you got this plugged in and somebody walks out in front of you, they could trip over the cable, so having a detachable cable would be nice, but in this case, uh, it doesn't have it. Oh my, oh my goodness. Yes, it's mainly made out of plastic, but it feels, it feels really nice in the hands. The buttons are very clicky. D-pad, a little soft for my liking, but overall pretty good. A, X, Y, B. Okay, so this has all the correct buttons for the next generation of consoles. That's nice. Here's a look at the back of the controller. We got our remappable buttons back here. Up top, we got that LB, RB, LT, RT. Those buttons look pretty hefty. And then at the bottom right there, we got our additional thumbsticks, our D-pad, and our back remappable buttons. And then right here where the cable was, not only is there a pouch in the back, but we got a little pouch right there. So, wow, that is nice. All right, so now we get to the fun part. I'm gonna try this out. And I'll come back to you guys and let you guys know exactly what I think. So with the magic of video editing, I'll be right back with you. This controller right here that Master Chief has in his hands is going to be the first wired controller for the Xbox Series X or S that I can 100% recommend. Man, Google, I am sure glad to be introduced to this company. 
So I've probably put about 10, maybe 12 hours of gameplay on this controller so far. And I gotta say, the controller is really comfortable in the hand. The haptic feedbacks are really good. And the customizability of the buttons is so easy. Pretty much every button can be easily changed via their app directly off your Xbox. So not only can you easily customize the buttons, but you can also customize the faceplate, you can customize the thumbsticks, the D-pad, and the back trigger buttons. All right, so I just took off the D-pad real quick. That just comes off. Here's a look at the naked controller. <laughs> and then we're gonna slap this on. Bam. And you got yourself a brand new controller. <laughs> So right now, the right trigger and the left trigger, well, they're set so they can go all the way down. However, if you wanna change that on the fly, you just gotta do this. There you go. And then to revert it back, you'll slide this to the side, you'll push the trigger down, and then you'll release. You'll do the same on the other trigger. Bam, now you're back to the original configuration. Also, changing out the rear buttons from two buttons to four buttons, it's pretty easy. Just gotta slide this off. It pops out like so. Then you grab your four button layout. Pop it in like so. Snaps into place and you're good to go. Honestly, you seriously have to think about what you're getting for a hundred bucks. In my opinion, it's an amazing deal. I mean, just for a basic Xbox controller, you're paying about 60 or 70 bucks and there's basically no customization. Whereas with this complete customization, you get a very nice hard shell case. You get two face plates. You get interchangeable thumbsticks. You get an interchangeable D-pad. You get interchangeable rear buttons. And not to mention, you get a lifetime subscription to Dolby Atmos. I mean, honestly, Handsome Nation, for that price, what more can you ask for? However, if you have any questions about this controller, don't hesitate. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. So while you're down there, you might as well like this video, share this video, share the content, of course, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified every time I go live or when I post new content. Thank you and have a good one.